That's right. We're looking for headlights, right? Uh, yes. If we go to... The, there's a workshop in that first one. Yeah, just to the right out here. Yes. Yes. Ah. Hmm. Okay. No, he's... This part is probably... From he's not interested. What if you talk to our, our good old friend, the good station conductor? Yes. Old Alan Bennett. Alan... Alan Bennett. The entire okay, okay. So that, that is talking to him. Uh, let's try... The let's try the... the disappeared. disappeared shed again. Yeah. Nothing here. Uh... Try the other railway station then. Yeah, fine. Um, okay, to Bridlington. Bridlington. Yeah, I think it was between Bridlington and Chesterfield that it's gone, and then that guy was just sloshed, and they knew that he would be sloshed because he's always sloshed. Well, it could be if the because if presumably the... it ha happened at Bridlington or somewhere between. It's Bridlington's where they kicked everyone off the train. Mm. Yes, yeah, that's right. Um, that's where we came there. in. That's the guy's office. Yes. Look at that guy. Just <laughs> can't get a train, so I live here now. Maybe it'll. No, what? No, let me look in here. No, okay. Oh, I, oh, I had a really good pun for that as well. I mean, feel free. It maybe it would have helped us shed some light on the situation. Well, we, yeah, we can still use that one when we do find it. Okay, okay. What's this? Nothing. <laughs> it must be at that other station that we were at, but... Chesterfield? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. To Chesterfield. All right. Uh, this will be we'll, we'll just there's just another room that we were meant to be like meant to look at. I guess so, yeah. At these like plot bottlenecks, plottlenecks, if you will. I will. What does the LB do? Oh, maybe we can just. We need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. Steam whistle. Steam. Okay then. Okay. Yeah, what about the room that we made yeah, the stuff in? Let's have a look. Now that that's out of the way, I bet it'll be in here. Well, that long pole is going to be to stick the lantern on it. Yeah. I found a long pole. What was that? A fire extinguisher. Okay. Just grabbing stuff. Spare train parts. Oh, those, are, that is, that's that. There's one. And there's the whistle. Whistle. But well, they're not two headlights. No, there's just one headlight on the train. Oh, I, th I thought there were two. And so it's going to be the stick with the light on it. The uh, pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. Okay. The headlight is attached. The steam it's whistle game. is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? Right. It is elementary, my dear. Hmm. We shall need a fire extinguisher. No, he said it. The fire Catch phrase. Now let us see what we have here. There's nothing more elementary than a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Uh, you see? Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us <laughs> last night. <laughs> the criminal mind can be I don't think we've created a replica. I think we've created the exact same one. Yeah. Is possible. All of that stuff was conveniently lying around. Fake train. Then it was surely with the intention of stealing. I mean, it wasn't. That much trouble. Watson, the only reason it was trouble is because we didn't know where the bits were. In fact, yeah. this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. 
Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real... I half suspect it. Is. I suggest we use my arms to find a more not, detailed no, map nothing. of our surroundings. I have well, to I hope suspect that you, Watson. Having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab, it made us extremely unpopular with our driver. <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the archive. But first, whoo, stolen rail track, F fake train, fake train parts of hand, uh, spare parts of hand car, spare parts of hand car. New node vanished yeah. earlier. Yeah, I think that's that. For yeah. Now. To the archives. Now. He said that like they were at, with the cab. There, in the back of the cab. Archives. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Properly this time, Watson. Uh oh oh I see okay. Um. Yeah, if you, let's look out for a curved road there. Yes. There's a side branch to the yeah, that's that. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Okay. Right. So it's saying that either it got off at the quarry, so mm -hmm. if it was between the two and then the guy wasn't drunk and did see it. Yeah. Or the other one. Well, that seems most plausible at the moment. So should we go to there? Yeah. Okay. So the railway switch. Yes. Yeah, so what, what... But then what would they have done at the railway switch? Well, that's where they would have had to do something with the real train, right? Yeah. So, possibly constructing, like, an extra bit of rail or something? Yeah. Like this bit! And here are our tracks. Maybe. Okay, so I mean, this... they look remarkably similar. What about the actual railway switch itself? Is there anything to show that it was switched? Mm, doesn't look like it. Can you interact with it out of detective vision? Yes, I can. But it still works. This road should go in the same direction as the road. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, along here then maybe? No. It really is just this. Okay. Okay, well, maybe we come back to this. Yeah. Should we try the other place first? Yeah, no, that sounds good. Uh, the station, the one that's just called Station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just sitting in awkward silence. <laughs> Holmes is just reading his book. <laughs> Look at all my colourful tabs. Uh, okay, so this is a new place. Yeah. Oh, in fact, will you just check something a second? So if you go into, if you press X to go into the evidence, and then go into the thing, uh, thing? check, uh, what's the thing with the, it says number whatever on it, huh? uh, down and right, sorry, up, up, this, no, so what I'm thinking is, we had the, the actual train's description, I don't know what that might have been, it might have been evidence. Oh, right. Yeah, so that one says 324, and the train composition, what number is it? Train... Uh, down two. Train composition... 324. Three, two, four. I think he did see the train and he was just trunk, drunk, actually. Can we see if that changes anything in our node area? Yes, we can. Because I don't think that he would have made up the right number. That's That is... A good point. Um, uh, not missed Chesterfield, but passed through Chesterfield. Yeah, okay. Oh, it didn't change anything, but... Not yet. We're missing something. some stuff. Um, okay. 
Doncaster. Ah. Who are you? A funny character. He looks anxious. Mm. He is not an Englishman. Certainly not. Looks foreign. Cigarette stub. Cigarette stub. It seems to be on fire. This what? Oh, these suck. But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations <laughs> into one picture. It's a big Mexican hat. <laughs> it is. So just try rotating it a little bit to, uh, that way. Because that's got <laughs> home to you, Cad. <laughs> oh, so it's everything bar that leaf that you've got. Oh, this only yeah. moves along that axis. Oh, that's right, because you nearly had it. So if you go sideways... Put it about there. Yeah. And then... If I just move this just a tiny bit. That smell is so similar. <laughs> so, so familiar. Oh, sort of, just like, I can't quite... <laughs> it's so evocative. To... Oh come on! Look at that. I think it's the the top of the hat's not quite right. Oh, there. So now whatever. Okay. okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember. <laughs> it's a Mexican. I remember hat. Watson. Peppermint. <laughs> Ricardo, you already know the name of this man, Holmes. You amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. <laughs> it is a Ricardo Tarrant, a Mexican Ricardo cigar Tarrant. of excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Can't pull them back. <laughs> oh, what happens if we are B? Ashtray, eh? Piece of... What this ashtray is full of... Burnt paper. I thought it said burrito paper. <laughs> It's really, it's really going full on <laughs> all out racism. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. <laughs> peppermint stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Mm. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Right. Text. So those Chileans that make there the was a conflict the between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Ash and cigar stubs. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So that dude that we just saw literally now but didn't go after. But didn't go after what's on the office. Has too. been like living here basically. Yeah. Horse racing. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdle, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Okay. Guy likes the horses. Got it. Loves them. Absolutely loves them. See? Betting slips for horse racing. <gasps> Two pounds! Two pounds indeed. Rotate well, rotated. He's quite the gambler. The sums are quite impressive. Mm. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Okay, so he's totally, uh, like, he, the guy at this station might be, like, in debt. Could be. All horse gamblers are in debt. Telegraph. A telegraph. To the horses. <laughs> Just <laughs> come into a room, there's a horse <laughs> with his arms folded, like, <laughs> tapping on the floor. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. <laughs> I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Thanks for that. An excellent place to hide a train, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. 
Um, so hang on, is this where we just... That's where we came in from. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. What other places have we got? What's that waiting for one? Okay, so that's the other side of Ricardo's oh. room. Okay. And then... Excuse you, sir. The warehouse? Or house. These are the worst halls I've ever seen. It's a bit of a... Bit of a quiet Friday night. <laughs> um, so this is the station master. What's that building that, over there? Well, that's just the forbidden <laughs> <laughs> building of mystery. <laughs> you shall never know its goodness or uh, what lies. Don't inside. worry about that. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Doctor John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well. Good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that... Any way I can, can though. Investigate. When you started investigating him, Chins. it looks like you started scowling more. Face. Melancholy. Yep, that's what that face says to me. No. Pocket. No, no watch. watch. Why, he doesn't know the time at all. Missing button. Yeah. And a ring mark on his hand. He's sold his wedding ring. He's in gambling debt. Yeah. Flooded area. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Hmm. So he's literally driving between almost like London and Nottingham quite regularly. Yeah. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Gambling man? I Mexican? You are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? To a gamblement. Uh, horse racing tickets. Yeah. We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. <laughs> Just, I was snooping in your office and I found your dirtiest secrets. I found a number of interesting items inside your underparts. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. Not so private anymore. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Well... Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. I don't trust that that guy very much. Yeah. Because apart from the him being possibly a bit dishonest about the gambling stuff, he uh, didn't seem like he wanted us to be aware of... Like he, he seemed like he was trying to sell himself as being very surprised at the idea of a, a Mexican dude being here, despite the fact that he's obviously like been here for a few days. Yeah. Um, what's this? Oh, it's not shiny, it's just a weird lighting thing. It's Can I just walk into the lake? And I can't go this way either. Is there another wet place that you could go down to the lake? Let's have a look. Oh! Oh, no. yeah. oh there is a beach there, though. There's a beach on the map. On the e other side. Right. What can we go into this house of mystery? Yeah, let's find out. No. No. 
So, should we go to the beach? Yes. To the beach. He seemed very keen on that. There we go. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster oh, station. Oh, tracks. <laughs> Heavy tracks. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. Yeah. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. Mm hmm Nothing interesting here. What? What do you mean, nothing interesting? Nothing interesting. The distance between the tracks <laughs> is about... Arbitrary. Seven yeah. Inches. Okay. So six, seven again. Hooves. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. Yeah. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Special wagon. I think Robinson's motive. It could be either way. Yeah. Uh, it really, it really could be. Like clearly, he's a bit of a dirtbag, but um, it's really impossible to say whether he set this up. Well, or... if we, because remember, we could like switch back and forth between them. It gives us like options if you switch them around. I, I think we're still missing key information. Yeah. I'll leave it on that for now. He does seem pretty guilty and suspicious. Suspilty. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Hmm. Dam. Coastline, eh? Refuse left on sand. Metal plate. Las Zapdos. 